Welcome to This Week in Dinosaurs for the week of April 10th, 2016. In an interview with Fandango at CinemaCon this week, Jeff Goldblum, who was there answering questions about Independence Day resurgence, was asked if he would return to the Jurassic Park franchise. It's been almost 20 years since we last saw him dodging dinosaurs in the Lost World Jurassic Park, the interviewer said. So are any plans in the works to bring him back for the sequel to Jurassic World, due out in 2018? Yes, in 20 years, Goldblum joked. Nah, I have no plans. They are doing very well without me. When the interviewer pressed on, Goldblum did go on to say, I'm nothing if not open. I'm like an open-faced sandwich. My door is not always open. I took the door off. I removed the hinges from the door. I'm too open. I'm like a chicken piccata. What was I about to say? Oh yes, the two movies I did with them were plenty. If I never did any more, I'd certainly be well satisfied. Of course, this doesn't mean at all that Goldblum will be featured in the upcoming Jurassic sequels, but it does send a message to the producers that he might not say no to the prospect. A new hadrosauroid dinosaur has been found from the late Cretaceous in the Shaanxi province of northern China. Hadrosauroid means hadrosaur-like, but it doesn't have to actually be in the hadrosaur family. The new non-hadrosaurid hadrosauroid dinosaur, reported in the latest issue of Vertebrata pelagitica, named Datonglong tianzensis, is distinct from previously known hadrosauroid dinosaurs, representing a new taxon. Datonglong possessed a different type of dentary than other hadrosauroids. It had two functional teeth in each alveolus, or tooth root. This helped it to chew and crush hard plants, and was another step in the evolution towards full hadrosaurs, otherwise known as duck-billed dinosaurs. This and other studies indicate advanced non-hadrosaurid hadrosauroids experienced a complex pattern in the evolution of their teeth. The study implies that there are incredible diversities among hadrosauroids, but attempts to close in on the origin of hadrosaur dinosaurs. To stay up to date on dinosaur news, visit dinosaurstop.com. That's all for this week. And until next time, wow.